One thing I especially enjoy about teaching psychology is that it's very relevant to students' daily lives. And so one of the things that I want them to take away from my classes that they actually apply what they learn in class to their real lives in a variety of ways. So for example, I want them to be able to use what they learn to contribute to debates on educational policy and to help children that they work with on social and educational problems that they're having. I teach a range of undergraduate classes, including several developmental psychology classes. For example, I teach an introductory level class where we cover a broad range of topics such as language development, prenatal development, and adolescence. I also am director of the honors program and teach a number of senior and junior honors seminars as part of that program. What makes Dr. Heyman an outstanding professor is that she structures in her courses in such a way that really keeps her students engaged. Her courses are very interactive and it really fosters curiosity. It allows students to ask questions and really conceptualize new research ideas. She has students really challenge these questions and really challenge what is it in articles and in research projects and to think of alternative ideas and hypothesize and so that it keeps students really um, engaged. What clearly sets her apart from er everyone else, um, only, we only came to appreciate it in recent years. Something about her teaching style that connects with undergraduate students in a way that's different from most of us. And they flock to her for guidance, basically. They want counsel from her. I absolutely love getting to know students on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Um, it's one of the most rewarding parts of my job. I like helping them figure out what they want to do with their lives. And I think one of the reasons that it's so rewarding to me is because I remember how much my mentors meant to me, and I really think they made a huge difference in my life, and it's very exciting to be able to do the same things with my students. She has such a warm personality, and I think that is quite an asset of hers. Um, she often treats students almost as like colleagues, and she expects a lot of them, but with that responsibility, she also treats them in such a way that um, you can approach her very easily. One of my fundamental ideas about mentoring and teaching is that learning is a process. And it seems kind of trite, but in practice that often doesn't happen. We often see teachers who um, talk to students about learning as if it's only a means to an end, as if the only reason you learn things is to get a certain grade. We also see a lot of teachers who have low standards and don't expect much of students, and not surprisingly, students don't end up expecting much of themselves. And I think a lot of people see it as a dichotomy. Do you focus on competition and social ranking, or do you have easy standards? And I don't like that dichotomy at all. I think it's important to show students the power of ideas, to have very high standards, but then also to offer them the support they need to be able to reach those standards. Well, she's been a really good mentor. Um, Dr. Heyman has this really perfect model of mentorship where she provides enough guidance and really good independence um, where she really allows us to foster our curiosity, um, ask questions, and also allows us to ask for help. The thing that inspires me most is actually my students. When I hear the exciting things that they're doing, it just makes me really optimistic about the future. So I'm very inspired by them and I've had the opportunity to work with a number of extraordinary students. Well, several of the students that I've worked with have published papers with me and that's a very exciting thing for students to publish in academic journals and realize that they can not only learn new things but be involved in producing knowledge. We've had so many students over the years send us feedback about, uh, about what kind of impact she had on them while they were here at UCSD. And I'll just quoting one of them who wrote to us and said, she's warm, encouraging, patient, and reasonable, but she is not only these things. She's also inspiring, demanding, challenging, and rigorous. And that quote perfectly captures Gail Heyman. I couldn't have said it better myself. It's just so exciting to have these lifelong relationships and be able to support these students who have so much energy and ambition. And just being a part of their success is, is extremely rewarding.